excuse my puffy face, we've just got up. Um, we're just quickly packing up before another lot of rain sets in. We can get on the road and get into one of the towns. It's a bit of a rush. I'm not tired. We're taking a little shelter from the rain. It's pretty hectic. We've just pulled into like an old car mechanic drive through thing and it's not open anymore but we're making coffee and it is bucketing. And now a bit of hail for good measure. Yeah. We have picked out well. We've got a, an ideal spot, Willow Creek Station or some of that effect. It's one that Alex has seen on YouTube before, but there's no point rushing to get there because it's going to be 50 km hour winds at 3G. So. We can. Yeah. Well, it's 50 km hour here as well. 50 km hour here where we go. Until we get a free camp. If you want to. It's so dark, they won't be able to see anything. I believe in you! So the washing's got about 25 minutes to dry and we're just going to have some breakfast, lunch, food. Do you feel like you're living the dream? <laughs> I'm typically thinking about where we're going to stay tonight. Yeah, it's a bit of a conundrum, isn't it? It is. If we go too high, it's going to be too hot. And if we stay too low, it's going to be too windy. So it's all a bit of a... I mean, I know I'd prefer to be in wind than heat. Would you? Because I won't get a sleep in 35 degrees. 30 degrees, I can't cool down until very late. Or a We've just dodged a bit of hail and all of the snails are running for cover. Now begins our trek through the desert. Not that we've had the desert yet, but... So it's 15 hours to Birdsville. We're just going to keep going until we decide to stop. So, because it's going to be hot and windy, we're just not going to stop until we're too bugger to keep on driving. For a bit of context, it's just gonna to be too hot and windy to stop and enjoy anywhere. So we're gonna push through this hot and windy area of Australia and then enjoy Southern Queensland, kind of Southeast Queensland a little bit more before we get home. That's all it is. If there was something that was like on our list that we really wanted to do we would do it but really we just don't want to be doing things in 36 degree heat or even 42 degree heat so it might seem like we're burning through but we kind of have to because we're not interested in hanging around in that It's 
super windy right now and about 10 minutes ago Alex and I were looking at the distance and it looked like super hazy and we weren't sure if it was dust or um, burn offs or rain but it's dust, it's so windy, it's just kicking up all the dust from all the wheat fields and it's just like this hazy brown right across the horizon, it's crazy. Girls happy. apocalyptic <laughs> it does look like Armageddon eh? or it's like so nuclear creepy. fallout it's insane so much dust and it's so hot the wind is so hot out there and there's tumbleweeds just flying across the road are you guys all still alive <laughs> update we're still driving it's quarter past seven we've still got some light so that's a good thing the dust is pretty crazy so I don't think we're going to be able to stop anywhere anytime soon without getting covered in dust it's so hot that we'd have to sleep with the tent windows completely open and we would just get absolutely covered in dust also sleeping in the car would be bloody hot and we can't open the windows and we'll get covered in dust so we haven't got a lot of choices I suppose the only other choice would be if the pumps were pet friendly but is that likely? Ollie is just fueling us up because to Birdsville is 596 k, so we'd more than be able to make that from here. We're in Lyndhurst at a 24 hour fuel stop, 596 k to Birdsville, which is odd because it's saying that it's going to take us 10 hours to get there. So we're not sure if part of it's dirt track or something. What's up? I've got to drive forward so I can get to the get to the pump will reach the um, gas filler. Okay. Right. Yeah, so it's saying it's 10 hours to get there, but it's only 596 k. So we're wondering if it's part dirt track or something.
still very, very windy. We wouldn't be able to set up a tent and sleep comfortably in it, especially with all the dust that came through. So it's probably like the first bit of struggle we've had. Oh, it's just airing down. We've been on the bird's wheel track for about half an hour. Yeah, I think he's gonna drive for a little while longer. <laughs> Track.